Ahoy, ye mateys! Stephanie here on my Buccaneer. Today, I would like to share with you a ranked match I played in the Gladiator rank range against a stat-based swashbuckler named Cedric. Now, before I go into my build, I just want to say that I have been experimenting with a whole bunch of different builds, and Pirate 101's birthday month, October, was a really good time to do that because all the membership benefits were turned on so I could reset my companions and character for free as many times as I liked. So I tested Bladestorm 5, I tested a whole bunch of different builds, and all the builds that I tested were based on experiences shared by other buccaneers who have been playing this game for much longer than I have. So I would just like to give a quick shout out to the many buccaneers who have inspired me. They include Alex Deathflame, who is a tournament master on Pirate 101 Central. He is the author of this amazingly detailed movement range guide. So if you are interested in PvP, I would definitely recommend to check out this beautifully written guide that he made on movement range. Um, it's been very very helpful to me and to many other PvP players as well. I know that Alex means Buccaneer and he goes with a pure melee build. I would also like to give a shout out to Ninja Pikmin who uh, runs a YouTube channel and writes very detailed analyses of his matches. He's also been a huge inspiration to me and he mostly runs a pure melee build but he does switch it up sometimes depending on the specific matchup. And then the most well known is probably the Feisty Orange. He wrote this 2018 Buccaneer uh, PvP guide and he went over three builds which is Bladestorm 5, uh, Haywire, and Fall Champion. And then Finally, there is Ruthless Bruno Maxwell, who also went over a bunch of different gear options in this video, which he published uh, last year. Now, I've given a lot of thought to the different options out there, and I finally decided that what I liked the best was actually something that I've never seen people uh, write that much about before, which is a dedicated hybrid build. So let me just go over the conventional builds and how I'm deviating from that. So this is the skill point calculator on Final Bastion, which is a very very good tool if you are considering uh, how to build your character. So the most conventional build for Buccaneer would be Fast 2 uh, from Swashbuckler Talents, Walk in Shadows, uh, Valor's Shield, Elusive 2, and then from here it's personal choice, but I know that Ninja does, like, he would go for Witch Hunter, Relentless, and Ghost Whale. So that's his build, and that's all 21 points that are spent. Alex Deathflame for a while ran Raised Barricade. Oh, actually he did Wind Spirit as well. And then that would be one point left for probably ghost whale i'm guessing so that will probably be his build and that's 21 points used so yeah there's a variety of different builds that involve pure melee but i decided that the, um i did try training staffy weapons too and then getting a witch hunter also i tried playing around with forbiddens but then I realized that it was way too luck based, so right now the build that I am running is uh, Rough 2, Shooty Weapons rank 2, Relentless, and then Burst Fire rank 1. Uh, so that's all of my 21 points used, and basically I have a Burst Fire grant from my pet, so this allows me to chain 3 times Burst Fire, 3 times Relentless, 3 times Blade Storm original hit if I'm using vicious charge and original hit plus glancing blow. So it's a very aggressive chain build. Now it is vulnerable to a bunch of things. It is vulnerable to grit 3. So if people have like a grit 3 nausea or grit 3 emmet, I would run the risk of getting stunned. But then I realized that no matter what build I go with, there's always somebody who can exploit it. So like if I go with witch hunter, right? There's people who will uh, use Witch Hunter to remove by hide by using like purge magic or 
um, Jobu's breath or whatever it is to uh, activate my Witch Hunter and take me out of hide. And so I did try Witch Hunter for a while, but I decided that I like the hybrid build better. So part of this is um, just me testing out uh, different builds against different people in ranked. And and also just me wanting to be a little bit different from the other buccaneers out there because I don't want to just be a copy and paste duelist, I want to be my own duelist. So yeah, uh, hybrid build is very competitive in a few specific matchups. So in this matchup against a stat based swashbuckler, it, was, it worked really well. I tried doing live commentary for this video, but then toward the middle I got really nervous and then I stopped talking, so I think what I'm gonna do is just play you the video anyways and just add music um, at the point that I stopped talking. Overall, I'm still really really proud of how I played that match, so yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Okay, I got a match with Cedric the Swashbuckler and it's a small board. So I'm gonna just start putting on buffs right away. Unfortunately, I had the first turn, so I couldn't move my units. And I can see one possible play for him, which would be to fog um, agility buff and then just send Nausicaa in right away. <laughs> there wasn't really anything I could do against that. So he might actually just be able to take out one of my units right away. Okay, he didn't... He either didn't draw fog or didn't choose to use it. He put on a critical buff and scratch buff. So he is probably gonna try to go for a critical poison. Um, in that case... I'm gonna shield first. Because if he's using Scratch as Purge, then he needs to get Scratch within range. So I'm not extremely worried right now. I wonder if he's using a Time Warp Pad. That would change the situation for sure. I'm not sure why he put on the smallest mojo buff, like the mojo buffs don't stack in PvP. Okay, he went for the fog. Why did his pet spawn and not mine? I'm gonna actually do this so that I can run. <laughs> This means that I'm safe from Nausicaa's attack, because if Nausicaa shoots me from there, like the, the attack won't go. So she has to shoot me from uh, a square next to Contessa, and then Contessa will intercept it. Yeah, he's trying to stack the mojo buffs, but he doesn't know that they don't stack.
Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep running out of Scratch's range. So this way, um, the big poison, he has to choose between me or Pete. Hmm, he's shielding himself. So that's one round of fog I don't need to worry about. Okay, so hopefully, let's see if Pete can get any critical vengeance on Finn. Uh, yeah, there we go. Come on, Pete, I believe in you. <laughs> yeah. Oh
Big Mojo buff got wasted. <laughs> Alright, well, Pete is dead, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, okay, he's choosing to eliminate my Wu Tang. Wow, she didn't burst? Wow, that was very lucky for me that Wu Tang somehow survived. goodness. Well, that's only fair because my peep lived just barely as well. by Wu Tang.
By the way, Cedric has been the subject of an article on the final bastion by Matthew. Uh, it's pretty interesting, you know, the variety of different builds that people try in this game. So my build is still a work in progress like many others, but so far I am pretty happy with it. Do feel free to offer constructive feedback though, as long as you keep it respectful. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next video.